Hi guys, it's your Malaysia girl Jean here. Today, we're gonna cook something that is so signature for Chinese New Year using these two items from Yu Yan San. Alright, the first one we have here is Yu Yan San Premium Quality White Mushroom Jing Xuan Tian Bai Hua Gu. Ah, when it says that it is premium, this one no joke, betul betul premium. Not only the packaging nice and then there's a word premium, it's really really the quality, the size of it is OMG. I can't even hold three of them with one hand. Ah, this one, after cook, sure expands even bigger than my palm one. Okay, like second item is golden scallops, Huang Jing Kan Pei. This one, once I look at the box, right? Walao eh, the smell is so strong, so aromatic. Uh. The size also so freaking big. Eh, one missing? Oh no! One golden scallop is missing! No, like, actually, I use this one for a trial, okay? I saw this and I'm like, Oh my god, these are premium dried scallops. So I immediately took one and try out in my cooking. I couldn't resist it, so I tried it out. I have got to say it is really really good. Look at the size. <laughs> I don't have to use a lot. So big, okay? One for one big dish is enough already. Okay, introduction done. Prep time. Let's go. Okay. Let's prep the mushrooms first because these are super premium ones. I just do normal cleaning with water only. No need flour la or sugar la. Just rinse and use your hands to rub rub can already. Once clean, fill up the bowl with water that is enough to cover all the mushrooms but not too much water, okay? Warm water is the best. Soak it for half an hour. I am using seven mushrooms because I want to form this round circle, okay? After half an hour, the mushrooms soften already. We need to cut away the bottom stalk. That one very hard. No one likes to eat it one lah. However, once you cut it off, don't throw it away. Still keep it and put it aside, okay? Now let's prep the other things. Scallops, I'm using two dried scallops. Oops, sorry, golden scallops. Same cleaning method like the mushrooms, okay? Just rinse off and then put some warm water to soak it for half an hour. Next, we can see counting the broccoli. This broccoli I bought is about 340 grams like that. It's ngam ngam enough for this dish. I rinse and rub rub it a bit first and then I soak it in salt water for 15 minutes and then rinse it again to make sure there's no salt still lingering around the broccoli lah. And then I just go around and cut off the broccoli branches like the bang the trees in this giant green forest like that. You get me? <laughs> so just cut along all the branches so it looks pretty sekuntum sekuntum like that. Now that I have all these mini mini green trees already, I am left with this green tree trunk. Do not throw, okay? Can eat one, okay? Broccoli nowadays very expensive. Uh. First of all, you have to cut the bottom part, like maybe just one little inch off, and then trim or de skin the sides, the skin like that, lah. And then cut them into bite sides like this. And then cut them into bite size like this. There you go. We have all of them already. Put it aside first. Next, we're gonna take the part of our hair that we hate the most, stretch it out and take a scissors and chop them off. Joking la. Xiao me. This is black moss. Fat choy. Black moss is a form of uh, Chinese dried vegetables that is not commonly used before this but I can easily find it in supermarket nowadays. We just need about half of a postcard size and yes, it looks exactly like hair, isn't it? Look like my hair. Cleaning this black moss or fat choy is very easy. You just need to rinse off. Just make sure there's no dust, debris on it. And then just dry it. No need to soak it and put it aside. Cooking time. 
This dish requires a long time to braise, so I'm using a pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, it's okay. Just cook it normal on stove. On stir-fry mode of the pressure cooker, heat up some oil and fry 5 to 6 slices of ginger until the golden golden nun. Then, fetch them out, put it aside. Don't throw ah. Huh? We'll use them again later. Okay, now the oil is infused with ginger taste liao. Next, we're gonna put in 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Sauté, 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 sauté. And then, this is my own twist. Ah. I'm putting in only 2 dried chilies. I actually patakam them, you know. I break them apart so that the flavour will kind of infuse into the oil too. Whoops, the soaked scallops, right? I'm supposed to shred them but I forgot. So here I am using my fingers, just press them down and then it will break and become like shredded like that. Like you can shred it furthermore, it's even better. And then just throw them in and sauté, sauté, sauté. Next, you also need to sauté all the mushrooms. When it's just uh, one two minutes uh, enough of uh, sautéing, that's when you put in the stalks just now that we didn't throw away and the liquid that we soaked the mushrooms. These are all essence, you know, essence of the mushrooms. And mushrooms have natural umami flavor. And then we also put in the water that we used to soak scallops. Black moss also can put in now. If you don't have it, it's okay, just keep it. One tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm using brown sugar. And then you just mix them up well before we ginger lock it up and let it pressure cook for 20 minutes. If you're using stove, you have to cook it for 50 lima pulo ah, minutes, okay? Okay, now let's blanch the broccoli. Remember the golden golden nan punya ginger just now? Okay, this is when you can boil a pot of water and then put in those ginger, one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Then you can blanch your broccoli lah. One minute blanching is enough. However, for older people, maybe you want to blanch it more, like maybe 2-3 minutes so it softens more so that they can eat it easily lah. Like that only consider considerate, my right? Okay, you do the same for the green tree trunk part also, okay? I promise you, it's also very delicious, crunchy and it doesn't taste weird. Have a try, okay? Okay, broccoli done. Set it aside first. Okay, back to the pressure cooker. Guys, find something that is not your hand. Okay, when you make sure there's no hot air out already, the pressure is all out. Okay, double confirm. Ah. Okay, that's when you can open up. Wow. Oh. Okay, now we can see the mushroom is very plump and it's actually very soft. Oof, we need to take out the mushroom stalks and also dried chilies that we have put earlier so that we don't serve with it in the sauce. Okay, that's not what we want. And then we need to cook for another 5 more minutes to make it thicker. Mine takes about only 3 minutes and it's already thickened so you have to be careful, okay? And then I found out that I need a bit more salt so I add half teaspoon of salt and then it got thickened really really fast so I added half cup of Shaoxing wine. Our Muslim friends can go for water instead. Now the sauce consistency is just nice. We can already plate up the dish. The tree trunk side, uh, that one we can hide underneath all the mushrooms. So we put that first and then followed by all the mushrooms. I'm using seven mushrooms, remember? So I can form a beautiful circle like this and then I put in the mini mini green trees. So it's like surrounding with green forest like that. <laughs> and then I top it with three BG, three small goji berries that I've soaked in water for 15 minutes. So, so it's softened already. Lah. Let's try this out. Oh. Oh. How plump, how fat. 
I am very very excited with this dish because this is not just any kind of Chinese dried mushrooms you know this is white mushrooms it is known to be meatier thicker and the texture is just more full if you know what I mean you see so thick Mm. Holy <laughs> mm. So juicy So umami So umami <laughs> So flavorful That's why you don't cut this mushroom You need to enjoy it as a whole And when you bite in Oh my god, the sauce make it like not just any garlic oysters kind of sauce because we have black moss and most importantly very very premium Yuyan Sang golden scallops that makes the whole thing feels very exclusive, very somewhat high classy. <laughs> Must try the greens too. Standard lah, so that it goes with the mushroom because it's crunchy and then we go in for another meaty mushroom bite again that's all for this time i hope you get to try it and thank you Yu Yang Sang for sponsoring me these two items and make this super delicious and special dish